so you think Earth's northern lights are big and majestic? Well, they truly are amazing. But that may not be the case for every planet in our solar system, according to Randy Gladstone of the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Texas, who said that auroras on Earth are nothing compared to auroras on Jupiter, which has auroras bigger than our entire planet. So not all auroras are created equal. Jupiter's auroral glow is much stronger than Earth's, and researchers assumed it was caused by the same process that generates our planet's brightest auroras. But new observations from NASA's Juno spacecraft show that's not true. So what is causing Jupiter's auroras to glow different? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about how Jupiter's auroras defy all the laws of physics on Earth. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The stunning colors, storms, and natural phenomena on Jupiter make it one of the most fascinating objects in the solar system. It's by far the largest planet in the solar system, and more than twice the size of all others combined. For some perspective, if the Earth was the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. In addition, the planet is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. And if it has any hard surface at all, it would be a core about the size of the Earth. But astronomers have yet to discover what's at its center. So, the planet has many more fascinating aspects associated with it, but the most amazing of all are the auroras there. But what makes an aurora? Maybe you are familiar with earthly auroras. They are colorful displays of light in the skies visible from high latitudes. The aurora borealis shines within the arctic circle of Earth's northern hemisphere. The aurora australis shimmers above the antarctic circle, down south pole, and people far and wide travel to see these glorious lights and to marvel at them. Therefore, on Earth, the aurora is a product of a natural process by which electrically charged particles, or ions, ejected from the sun collide with oxygen and nitrogen atoms in Earth's atmosphere. So auroras and the process that create them can be found throughout our solar system. Scientists know of auroras on seven of our sun's planets. Some are visible to the human eye. Others require specialized telescopes to be seen. However, Jupiter has the most powerful auroras in the solar system. And that's not surprising, since it's our solar system's most massive planet. But Jupiter is the only one of the four giant planets with an aurora that has been found to emit X-rays. So what's the mystery behind the strange behavior of auroras on Jupiter? Jupiter's auroras are unusual. They've had scientists scratching their heads since NASA's Voyager 1 space probe first discovered them in 1979. Scientists have studied and scrutinized Jupiter's auroras since then and it was not immediately clear how the energy required to produce Jupiter's X-ray auroras is generated. But they knew these surprising Jovian northern and southern lights are triggered by ions crashing into Jupiter's atmosphere. At Earth, auroras are usually visible only in a belt surrounding the magnetic poles between 65 and 80 degrees latitude. Beyond 80 degrees, auroral emission disappears because the magnetic field lines leave Earth and connect to the magnetic field in the solar wind. But Jupiter's X-ray auroras are different. They exist poleward of the main auroral belt and pulsate. Therefore, scientists studying the phenomena turned to computer simulations and found that the pulsating X-ray auroras could be linked to closed magnetic fields generated inside Jupiter. Those fields stretch out millions of miles into space before turning back. But how to prove the model was viable? In 2016, NASA's Hubble telescope captured incredible images of the beautiful auroras on Jupiter's North Pole. Earth has auroras, most notably the Aurora Borealis, known as the Northern Lights, and Aurora Australis, or the Southern Lights. So unlike the auroras on Earth, Jupiter's auroras seem to be never-ending, and they are compromised of ultraviolet light, whereas the Earth's are visible light. NASA says the auroras occur when high-energy particles enter a planet's atmosphere near its magnetic poles, 
and collide with atoms of gas. This excites the atmospheric gas, causing it to glow. Now, Barry Mock at Johns Hopkins University in Maryland and his colleagues have analyzed Juno's data and found that the likely cause of powerful auroras on Jupiter is one that does something quite different on Earth. On our planet, most intense auroras are the result of powerful electric fields building up along Earth's magnetic field lines. This creates wells of electrical potential, areas where the electric field changes sharply. That accelerates electrons from the solar wind toward the ground. Those electrons collide with atoms in the upper atmosphere and give up some of their energy. When the atoms release that energy, they emit tiny bursts of light that together make up the aurora. On Earth, these electric potentials cause the most intense auroras. These are the beautiful, twisting, snake-like undulations that people marvel at when they go see the aurora in the northern regions, says Mach. But even though Jupiter's electric potential wells are up to 30 times stronger than Earth's, Mach and his team found that they don't align with the auroras. These electric potentials are not the source of the most intense aurora at Jupiter. That's a surprise, Mach says. Instead, Jupiter's auroras might come from a process that only causes dim auroras on Earth. These weaker auroras can be caused by ripples in the Earth's magnetic field that accelerate electrons just a smidge. Some of these electrons can build up enough energy to light up the sky when they hit gas in the upper atmosphere. Because Jupiter is so large, the electric potentials there could get so strong that they become unstable, turning into waves and random turbulence. It is this phenomena that can accelerate electrons so much that they produce a dazzling display, he says. We often use models of Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field as jumping off points for describing other planets. But the Juno observations could force us to re-examine our assumptions, especially when it comes to understanding exoplanets, many of which are more like Jupiter than Earth. So, the images of the auroras were captured just as NASA's Juno probe arrived at Jupiter in 2016. The probe was launched in 2011 from Earth on a mission to measure Jupiter's composition, gravity field, magnetic field, and polar magnetosphere. It's also gathering evidence to learn how the planet originally formed. These auroras are very dramatic and among the most active I have ever seen. Jonathan Nichols at the University of Leicester, UK, who is leading the work, said according to New Scientist. It almost seems as if Jupiter is throwing a firework party for the imminent arrival of Juno. Unfortunately, if you were to fly a ship to Jupiter, you wouldn't be able to see the auroras because, as we mentioned before, they're composed of ultraviolet light, which isn't visible to the human eye. However, the Hubble telescope was still able to capture the beautiful blue halo at the North Pole with incredible detail. The Juno mission arrived at Jupiter just as the auroras were photographed by Hubble, and over the past four years, it has made some beautiful discoveries. So far, the mission has been a success, giving researchers volumes of information about the planet's interior, cloud patterns, weather, magnetic fields, and more. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.